In this lesson, you'll learn how to create configurations in QuoteWorks. The configurator simplifies building a quote by presenting the user with predefined lists of products to choose from step by step. The list of products displayed at each step will be based on the previous selection. The list of products and number of steps are specified when the configurator is set up. One of the main advantages of using the configurator is that the sales rep can very easily pick products from the list presented to them, ensuring that the sales rep won't forget to add or forget to recommend products that they should. To create a QuoteWorks configuration, select the Products, Configurator menu option, or just click the Configurator icon on the QuoteWorks toolbar. Click on the New button to create a new configuration. Here you'll need to create a name for your new configuration and click OK. Once the new configuration is created, you'll need to select your new configuration name and then click the Edit button. The Configuration Setup window has two tabs, the Settings and Flowchart. On the Settings tab, you can modify the configuration name, provide an explanation of your configuration, and set the configuration type. There are two configuration types, Simple and Group Configurations. When a simple configuration is added to the quote, all line items will be added to the quote with no relation to each other and will appear as individual line items. These line items are from a simple configuration. If we preview this document, the simple configuration will show you all the details about the products that you have added, including the unit and extended price. Now let's take a look at the items when a grouped configuration is added to the quote. Because this is a grouped configuration, the items are logically grouped together as one item, and the items that belong to the group have their prices rolled up into the group header line, or bundle header as it's sometimes referred to. By changing the price in one of the line items in the grouping, the group header's unit and extended price will change in relation to the item that was changed below. When previewing this document, only the group header pricing information will show, and only the description will be displayed from the sub-items beneath. This is because by default, the line item attributes are set so your customers will not see the prices of all the individual sub-items that belong to the group. However, you can modify the settings of the group bundle if you'd like for the sub-items prices to appear. You can even edit them on the fly by choosing the desired line items, right-clicking, selecting the line attributes menu, choosing hide price, and setting the attribute to no. Moving back to the Configuration Setup window, let's take a look at the Group Configuration's properties. When the Group Configuration type is chosen, you can specify settings for that Group Configuration. You have the ability to give your Group Configuration a part number that will be placed into the Group Header line item. You can choose a Configuration Description to further elaborate on the contents of your Configuration. You can also add internal notes that you, as the QuoteWorks Administrator, can view about the configuration, but will not appear to the user. When you're rolling up multiple items into a single item, the common need is to discount the group of items. With the group configuration, you have the ability to apply a discount modifier, which will be placed into the price modifier column of the group header line item. Now let's move over to the Flowchart tab and learn how to set up the containers which determine the content and flow of the configuration. On this tab, you have the ability to print, set print settings, and adjust the zoom level of the flowchart. This will be covered in the Intermediate Configurator tutorial video. On this tab, you will create a selection container for each step in the configuration, Specify which products will be listed in each selection container, and then you'll connect the containers together to indicate in what order the steps will be presented. To create a selection container, right-click in the center of the flowchart area to display the pop-up menu. Select the Create New Selection Container menu option, enter a name for this container, and then click the OK button. You'll need to repeat this procedure to create as many selection containers as you need. Let's go ahead and create a few selection containers for our example. In this example, we'll create a configuration that aids us in the building of a home entertainment system. We'll create a selection container for TVs, receivers, and speakers. 
Now that we have these selection containers created, we'll need to link them together to create the logical flow. To connect the containers, click on the center sizing dot of the container and hold down the left mouse button while dragging the cursor over to the container you want to connect this container to. Release the mouse button and the Create Selection Branch window will be displayed. For this example, we're going to use the default branch to connect our selection containers. The other branching methods will be discussed in the Advanced Configuration Tutorial. I'll repeat this process to connect the second container with the last container in this example. Now that we've created the selection containers and linked them together, let's edit the first selection container so we can add items to this configuration. To edit the container, right-click and choose the Properties menu option, or double-click directly on the container. The Selection Container window has two tabs, the Settings tab and the Items tab. The Settings tab allows you to change the name of the container, create a config prompt, and set the minimum and maximum number of items that can be added from this container. We'll go into greater detail about the config prompt and the number of items that can be added in the Advanced Configuration Tutorial. Now let's take a look at the Items tab. The Items tab allows you to view, add, edit, or remove items from your container. This window will display a list of products or services that are included in this selection container. To add an item to your container, click on the Add Item button. Now the Product Lookup window will appear. From here you can search for the products that you want to add. Once you've found the products that you're looking for, you can add them to the container by clicking on the Select Add button. You'll need to repeat this process to add products to all the selection containers in your configuration. The selection item type will be discussed in the Intermediate Configuration Tutorial. The source database is the product database from which this product has been obtained. The manufacturer part number will pre-fill. The description of the item is automatically retrieved from the product database and is here for display purposes only. The quantity field allows you to set the quantity of this item to use when it's added to the quote. The sort order is used to set the order of how the items will appear in the selection container. If there's no particular order that you'd like the items to appear, then leave the default sort order as is. The line item properties and line attribute settings allow you to further specify the properties of the item when it's added to the quote. We'll go over the line item properties and attribute settings in further detail in the intermediate configuration tutorial. To edit a product in a container, choose the product and click the edit button. To delete a product in the container, select the item to be deleted and click the remove button. Once you're satisfied with the container's properties, click OK. Now that you've learned how to set up a basic configuration, let's add your new configuration to a quote. Select the Products, Configurator menu option, or click the Configurator button on the QuoteWorks toolbar. Select the configuration that you want to add to the quote and click the Start button. The Configuration Wizard will appear starting with the first selection container. At each step, the Configuration Wizard will display the appropriate container name that you have set according to the order that you set up for your configuration. In each step, you'll need to choose a product for this quote. If you want to select multiple items, select a product and then click the Add button for each. Once you've added the products, click on the Next button to advance to the next step. If you only want to add one product and move on, you can double-click the product and it'll automatically advance you to the next step. Continue this process until you've completed all the steps and then click the Finish button to add this configuration to the quote. If you prefer to insert the configuration so that it's placed above the currently selected line item, click the down arrow and select Insert into Quote. All the products that you've selected for this configuration will now quickly add to the quote. As you've seen in this tutorial, by using the configurator, you have the ability to rapidly and systematically create an item or assembly out of many different parts.